Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to do a review on an AI rewrite tool. So basically this is called Write Human AI and what it does, it's a, it writes AI written content to human-like. So we are going to humanize AI content from ChatGPT, from Perplexity and other AI tools. Okay, so this is the page, which is a website called writehuman.ai. This is the home page. So we have a section, this section here, with, uh, where you paste your content. And then this button, when you click on it, it writes your content to human-like. And then uh, we also have other settings. We have an enhanced model. Let's see what it does. Click on this icon, see. I told that uh, it enhance, this enhanced model, uh, it helps you to pass AI detection from tools such like Originality 3.0 and uh, the other tools. Uh, this one is for premium usage and currently I'm subscribed to a premium plan. So I'll show you the three plans they have. So the tool before we, I, I show you the pricing. So something i want you to see so this is a right human ai review it has key fee the key features we have it has a ai detection feature and the ai humanization humanizer feature and i will also show you how to use the humanizer features later um, by using examples that is content from chat gpt and content from perplexity which we will humanize so let's go back to the website so this is the official website homepage. And uh, if you scroll down to pricing, they have three pricing model. Uh, on a yearly basis, uh, we have the basic plan, which starts at $9, and then the pro, $12, and um, the ultra, which currently is going for $36, usually it's $72. So when you use the link in the description, uh, you'll get a 50% off uh, for the first year. And this is the best option to choose because if you look at the word count, the word count limit is, um, I mean, you can humanize at a go 3000 words per request. Uh, unlike the pro version, the pro, uh, the pro one, which you can only humanize uh, 1200 words per request. However, sometimes this can just be enough. This can just be enough. And also you have to look at the, how many requests can you make within a month? Uh, with this plan you can make 200 requests per month and this could be enough for you okay the basic plan you can make 80 humanization requests per month however with the ultra plan you can make unlimited requests per month currently this is what i'm using to humanize content ai content for clients and also for other projects maybe i will be I'm, I'm running one it's the best option if you can afford it just go for this uh-huh well, if you choose to go for monthly basis you see the price model changes uh drastically so instead of that is six dollars per month for the ultra plan you'll be paying 48 dollars per month for the ultra plan and then instead of nine dollars for the basic plan you'll be paying 12 dollars per month and uh so on and so forth mm -hmm. for starters uh, for starters, when you're using the free version, they'll be giving you around uh, 200 words, uh, a request of 200 words, which you can just try three trials to just try the tool. Afterward, you have to subscribe to a plan to continue using it. So currently, this is the humanizer, humanizer feature. Uh, I also say they have an AI detector feature. So let me open another tab. So we have an AI detector feature, which you can also use to detect AI in your content. And then after that, you just humanize the content. So I will create two separate articles. The first article I've created with ChatGPT, and I use ChatGPT 3.5 because I know it will give me the worst content. You know, ChatGPT 4 will give me better output, but I wanted to you know, to be extreme, to use, to be extreme. I wanted to be extreme in this case. So uh, this is the prompt I gave it. Write an SEO optimized article about how to start a successful online business, format the article well, and strictly avoid repetition. 
write in a friendly second person tone and make the article engaging and also ask you to include lists and tables and uh, this is the output I have uh, as you can see there are no lists and no table however um, it's well formatted I can say so I will copy it I'll copy this article when do you see whether it passes AI detection using the uh, the right human tool so when I copy it it will be in markdown format and I'll still maintain it in that format for a reason so I just paste it here so it's uh, we see we have around uh, 568 words word count so let's check for AI click on AI so it's currently running processing And you see this is the probability so the article is 13.7 percent probab uh, the probability is 13.7 percent that it is human text which is terrible so basically it's saying this is a ai written article so let's delete that okay i've also produced the same article but using perplexity ai so i gave it the same prompt which is write an seo optimized article about how to start a successful online business from the article well and strictly avoid reputation write in a friendly second person tone and make the article engaging also include lists and table and uh, uh, perplexity uh, it's really good at uh, with instructions however i'm using the free version i did it upgrade uh, using the free version because i also use 3.5 on ChatGPT. okay so I want them to be on the same level and uh, you can see this is the output it has a good list the formatting is really incredible i just love the formatting very good so let me copy it remember the content it's in markdown format let me paste it here and then okay the word count is nine uh, five nineteen let's check for ai and let's see what we have oh that's terrible so this is only 0 0.2 percent probable that it is human text so the probability is 0.2 percent that it is a uh, human text which is really terrible however the formatting is good we can humanize it directly from this tab okay from here you can just click on the humanize this text now however i won't do that there i'll go to a new tab and i'll paste the first content from the first content is from okay not the first one but uh, the second content which is from um, perplexity AI so I want to humanize this as you can see the word count is 519 and uh, I'm allowed to use up to 3000 words per request for best outputs for best output if you have a very long article like 3000 word I will not suggest you just pacing the entire article you can put it in sections so that it can humanize it in sections of maybe 500 500 and for the best results and also uh, when you humanize it you know it is rewriting the content so you will see a few changes maybe in the headings a few changes to be changing not just the structure but the wording so it may not be the exact words you want you want by the end of it so if you don't want to change a word just make sure to put quotation marks if you don't want to change anyone just make sure you put quotation marks and by doing so when it is humanizing that content to make sure that whatever that is under quotation marks remains just as it is it doesn't change for my case i i don't have a problem with this so i just want to test to see what we will have so let me click write human and see what we have so currently it's processing let's give it a time And also as it is processing i told you there is this enhanced model you can you choose to use it or not it's up to you so let's first see what it produces if you don't like it we can also use the enhanced model and you can see this article uh, car, uh okay okay the ai detection to was zero percent the probability was 0 0.2 percent that it is human text and right now we see i've humanized it it's the human score is 99 99.03 percent that it is human right uh, human written which is amazing it's good it's good and uh, it has maintained the, uh, the structure because you see I, I pasted it in uh, markdown format 
that's why you have these stars and you know these hashtags so by the end of the day i'll just copy it here we have this copy button copy it to curly board and then i go to a free markdown converter i paste my content there and as you can see i've copy i've pasted uh pasted it there and then now i have my content on the other side so this is the title which is um start a successful business you see when we created this content uh, on perplexity it gave us it gave us a heading so we can also change that you can just remove that it's easy it's just easy just go to your content you remove that and then you want to make this heading one heading one you leave it with one hashtag and then this is heading two okay heading two heading two heading two just two hashtags heading two editing two now everything looks good so we have our heading which is start a successful business the ultimate guide and it's it's a, it's a really good one discover your niche okay research the market develop a business plan okay oh this is sweet this is amazing okay so now you can copy it you can just put this directly to your website or you can still work on it if you want to work on it further now i want to see the other article from ChatGPT. 3.5 so we copy it it's in markdown then we go to AI humanizer we want to insert it here make sure you delete the faster content i can also refresh the page it's not necessary but uh, i found it helpful let's give it a second okay it has refreshed the page now i can successfully paste the content from um charge 3.5 so I can have paste it here. Okay, the word count is 568. In this case, we can also use the NRS model. So we want to see what happens when you use the NRS model. And then we write human. It's processing. As you can see, it's uh, processing in two chunks, meaning uh, it is um, broken down the content to 50, 250, 250. Word count around 250 and the other maybe 250 or 300 for better output. And as you can see, the final output, we have a human score of 67.58. When the human score is low and you, maybe you don't appreciate this one, you can still go ahead. That's why I told you, you can choose the ultra plan because with the ultra plan, you can write as many times as you want. So I can still write again, just click write again and it will process again until it gives me a human score higher than 80 maybe. I think 80 is safe. Let's see. And there we go. We have a human score of 96.16%. And uh, as you can see, it has maintained the title. You have the introduction and then it has broken the content just as it was. The very few slide change in how it just uh, rarely writes it. And that's a very good score. So remember, we have also used the enhanced model, meaning that uh, this content will pass AI detection from originality 3.0 and uh, taunting. I think, uh, th I think that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> this is brilliant. It seems uh, the chat GPT for content, when it actually, when we uh, enabled the enhanced model, it removed the markdown format. And uh, automatically you can see it has already broken down the content, removing the markdown format. That's why you can see there are no hashtags, no stars in this content. It's already written in the right format. Uh, what if we remove the enhanced model? Let's try without the enhanced model and rewrite the content and see what will happen. It's good to just test it before you try anything. Just test it several times until you find the best way to use the tool that way you can now use it at scale so it's running in two chunks see we have a human score of um, 99.79 uh, okay and this is a very good output it's in markdown format but it has uh, omitted the, the heading which is okay we can work with that it's okay it has emitted these two parts which is the introduction and title and uh okay we can just copy that make sure you all will do this just make sure those two are there already and then we go to the final output we have the final output we have is this one we 
copy it to the cardboard and then now we can paste it here so this is the final output as you can see when we were using charge gpt4 i mean charge gpt 3.5 uh it marked all the content in some as you can see from the basic usage when we use the stars it's just body everything you can see it's it's just a body we don't have to talk, we don't have the headings we don't have uh, the sub headings so i think you will go through your article and do that on yourself however when we were using perplexity ai perplexity ai broke everything down well so it gave us an output with headings and sub, sub headings i don't mean i don't mean that uh, with uh ChatGPT 4 is poor. I mean, it's okay. You can you can really do this on your own. It's not that hard. It's easy. It's easy. You can just even add it if you are interested in doing so. See if I add an hashtag, automatically changes this to a topic, the main topic and the introduction here. If you add two hashtags in front of it, two hashtags, changes it to something different. So now we know that is a heading two then afterwards you can now copy your content and paste it in a word document if you're interested in pasting it in a word document and save it or you can just paste it direct to your website so that's it uh, from now from here we can see now we have been successful we have successfully converted ai written content to human content a very good score 99.79 percent it's almost 100 percent so if you're interested in this tool, please make sure to use the link in the description uh, below to get a 50% off on your first year. And if you're going for monthly subscription, you'll still also get a 50% off if you use the link in the description. So thank you for your time. I hope this was helpful. If you have uh, other questions, please write on the comment section.